U.S. Marshals have just released age progression images of convicts who escaped Alcatraz more than 60 years ago. A case that has grabbed the attention of Americans for decades has also remained a big mystery for investigators. Over the years, speculation has mounted on whether these men are still alive and recently obtained evidence has prompted authorities to reopen the case as late as 2018. Senior National Correspondent Brian Nenton joining us live with what we have learned tonight and um, does this crack the case wide open? Brian. Yeah, it really is crazy, Marnie, that it's been 60 years and there is now this new evidence. What we've learned about this case, uh, it sounds like it's right out of a movie. Uh, these prisoners actually had a little workshop that they created up in the ceiling of the prison and they used body doubles with real hair to fool the prison guards. 60 years after three men infamously dug their way out of the maximum security prison at Alcatraz Island, federal officials now are asking citizens to be on the lookout. Clarence Anglin, John Anglin, and Frank Morris remain wanted fugitives for their June 11th, 1962 escape from Alcatraz, where they were serving time for armed bank robberies. The three men spent more than a year organizing and planning their escape, setting up a secret workshop on top of their cells, as well as stockpiling the tools and resources needed to make the dangerous trek. After squeezing through a vent and scaling pipes that led to the prison roof, the trio traversed 100 feet across the rooftop and then carefully maneuvered down 50 feet of piping to the ground. After reaching the outer walls, they launched a makeshift raft of more than 50 raincoats in hopes of making it off the island. The following morning, guards awoke to find three detailed makeshift heads made up of plaster, paint, and real human hair in their cell beds. The guards went through the cell block and used their flashlights. They found three decoyed heads lying in the beds. The decoyed heads were made of soap, of wax, they were made of plaster, uh, but they were good enough to fool the guards at that moment. The prison was immediately put into lockdown, but the convicts had already gained a 10-hour lead on investigators. Authorities worked for weeks to locate the inmates, but found no sign of any evidence. Federal officials later said they believed they drowned. Now, 60 years later, theories have tested whether or not that's true. A raft was recovered on a nearby island shortly after their escape, as well as accounts of a car being stolen the night of the men's disappearance. In 2013, authorities received a handwritten letter by a man claiming to be John Algin, asking for a light sentence in return for medical attention. The letter forced U.S. Marshals to reopen the case. Now, years later, investigators hope the new re-aged images will help crack it. Investigators will continue to work the case as long as leads come in. Pretty incredible to think that these guys could still be out there. And you heard the U.S. Marshals there say it is definitely possible. So much mystery that surrounds Alcatraz, uh, Marnie. Uh, we've also learned that many of the records kept on all the prisoners, including these, have mysteriously disappeared over the years. Wow, 60 years, and, and they may still be out there. All right, Brian, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.